Hello everyone. Welcome to Five for Five. If you are a replay viewer, hi Nancy, welcome. If you're a replay viewer, um, you can share this out by either swiping down if you have a an Android or swiping to the left if you have a um, iPhone. Hi Colleen, welcome. Um, and also uh, the hearts. We love the hot hearts. Hi Debbie, welcome. Hey you guys, we're in for a great show today. We're going to be talking about networking follow-up. One of my favorite people in the world, Casey Eberhard, has taught me how to do this and I'm going to share his words of wisdom. Hello from Maryland. Oh, hi, Colleen from Maryland. Wow, how's, how's the weather out there? Is it cold, hot, humid? Yeah. Alrighty, my friends, we're just going to get going here. So today, our five for five is on follow-up. And the devil is in the follow-up after all. So just imagine this. You've attended a networking event. Now what, right? And a networking event is really just the beginning point hot and humid, yeah, at just the beginning point for connecting and creating those relationships. So how you follow up is the key, and this is the most important thing. So I hope you take some notes, and you'll also be able to go over to our site and grab the uh, infographic that I created and the tips in writing. So if you decided that someone or some ones that you have met at a networking event is someone that you want to continue the relationship and you want to um, you know, start a journey with them, um, I suggest that you are the one that takes the next step, and I also suggest that you follow up within 24 hours, all right? Okay, so here are the five tips. Tip number one, after you've come back to your office, after you've met the people that you want to connect with, the first thing I'm going to suggest you do is send them an email, a video mail or an audio mail. There's lots of great programs out there. Connect with me if you want to find out some of these programs, but send an email. You know, introduce yourself again. You met, we met at the networking event. Um, I'm very interested in what you do. And you might also ask them for their address, their mailing address at this point, because, and I'll tell you why you want that mailing address a little bit later. So that's tip number one. Tip number two, pick up the phone. Call that person that you just met and tell them it was really great to meet you. I just wanted to say hello. And again, this is not about sales. This is not about sales. This is about creating that relationship. So number two, just pick up the phone, say hello, and maybe set an appointment, which is on tip number five. Set an appointment. Maybe you'll do a one-to-one -one in a coffee shop. Maybe you'll do a Google Hangout, all those kind of things. Alrighty. Tip number three, drop them into your social media accounts. What does that mean? So if I meet somebody at a networking event and I have their card, I'm going to go look for them on Facebook and I'm going to friend them and say, remember, we met over at a networking event. Uh, find their fan pages. Go to LinkedIn. Go to Twitter. Put them into your social media. Why? Because people do change emails, but generally they don't change their profiles on social media. So you'll still have a way to be connected with them. Uh, number four. Now, remember I said try to get their address? I really encourage you to send a greeting card. I use send out cards and I have a whole campaign set up. And uh, again, if you want to find out how to do something like that, but basically I meet somebody at an internet, uh, I'm sorry, at a networking event. I take their name, I pop it into my uh, card system and it sends out a nice to meet you card and then it's on a quarterly thing. So every quarter they get another card, but it's already created. I'm all about automated pilot here, okay? Automatic pilot. I put it in there and it works all by itself. So that's a really cool thing. And again, if you're interested in learning how to do that, go to connectwithkaren.com and I will walk you through the process. Um, you might also want to send them a card on their birthday. Alrighty, tip number five. This is where the magic happens. So you've emailed them, you've called them, you've sent them a card possibly, you've put them into social media, and hopefully you've made some kind of a commitment to get together. It could be a one-to-one -one in a coffee shop, as I said, or Starbucks or a coffee bean. Panera is a great place to go meet as well. Um, or you might want to meet on Skype. Or you might want to meet on a Google Hangout. Uh, or you might want to meet on Blab, which by the way, I'm doing a Blab right after this, and we'll talk more about that in a second. Now, what your intention is at this point, now that you've touched base, is maybe you can pass a referral to them. Um, maybe on a Google Hangout, you can interview them, 
create a digital asset and then email them that asset. You're now helping to promote them, put them on social media and do all of that kind of stuff and then share them out. So let's go over these tips one more time. Number one, you've gone to a networking group. You now have, let's say those five people that you met, those five cards. We did this a couple weeks ago. Send them an email or a video mail or an audio mail. Nice to meet them. And then go ahead and ask for their address. Uh, give them a phone call. That's tip number two. Pick up the phone and call. Set up an appointment to meet them at a, at a later time, either online, meaning a Skype or a Google Hangout, or offline at a coffee shop. Number three, drop them into your social media. Make sure that you connect with them on social media so that you can follow them and share them. Number four, send them a greeting card. Put them on a quarterly plan. Put them on a birthday plan. It's a great way to connect. And finally, number five, when you do finally meet, one-on-one, -on -one, either Skype, Hangout. Find a way to pass a referral. Find a way to possibly interview them and send them that digital asset. You will be forever in their good graces because you've created them something that they can use in the future. It's a win-win. And finally, this is an extra tip. You might consider getting a mobile app and have these people download your app so that you can connect with them on a regular basis. Alrighty guys, we've gone on a little bit longer than five minutes. I told you that I'm going to be going over to a Blab. I'm going to be joining uh, Jay Nogle over at uh, Blab and you'll notice in my little description up there it says tiny URL um, and then forward slash J and Karen. And when you click on that it will bring you into this big Blab. By the way, so what a Blab is, Blab are up to four people sitting on a, a platform that's live. So it's not just me, it'll be Jay, and if we do bring other people in, there will be two people as well. So to up to four people. Very, very cool process, and um, I'm just jumping into Blab myself. So you guys are awesome. As always, go over to sparkitnetwork.com forward slash Periscope to get a copy of this uh, broadcast, as well as a written transcript of it, as well as an infographic. Love you guys. See you all next week on the next episode of 5-4. Five. See you later, everyone. Maybe. <laughs>